I would say that deals have a lot to do with communication skills, controlling Mm -hmm. the narrative, the terminology you use and how you use it, and then walking the seller through the steps so that they realize what the deal has to be, not what they want it to be. They have to realize that if they wanted this one thing, sorry, it's off the table. Not because we're saying it's off the table, but because they realize or they decide because people will always go back to, well, isn't there a simple cash offer? Yeah, that was like $7. Did you want it? Because I'm happy to do it. No, that won't work. Okay. So we're back to not cash. My $7 cash offer stands, sir. So if you ever want to revisit that, we can always go back to it. But you have to have the seller tell you why the cash offer doesn't work. Or you haven't pitched cash. You can't just say, yeah, I know you won't accept my cash offer, so let's move on. No, they have to tell you no. They have to disqualify it. They have to rule out the cash offer is not even an option for them. 